like it. I would too. Remember the show we were just watching? Oh, that, <clears throat> that's about that guy? Yeah, Ramit Sethi or something, host of Netflix, How to Get Rich. Oh. So I ordered the book right. so we could do the steps. He says, no guilt, no excuses, no BS, just a six-week program that works. Really? All right. So we're going to be rich in six weeks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's we're do already it. wealthy. Uh, in love and happiness. Look at you. Look at you. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. That's what said. <laughs> All right, let's find his show. Well, because find we got the, the book. Mm hmm. It was Wakanda Forever, though. Wakanda Forever? <laughs> was, it obviously I was, was not forever. Oh. Watch it. <laughs> you really watch it. You, you, you tread lightly. Okay? Well. Don't tread lightly. You take it easy. Very sensitive stuff you're playing with. <laughs> yeah. I was. Ah! <laughs> watch it. It was pumped up. Yeah. Oh my God. Hmm? Well, we had the show, so let's see, let's see. How are we going to do this? I know we watched a couple of episodes, but we didn't finish everything. So what you think? We think we should watch the book at the same time. Watch the show while we read the book, I mean. I'm so excited, I don't even know what to say. Watch the book. Watch the book. <laughs> watch the book. Watch the book. So what day is today? How to get rich. What does it say? How yeah. to get rich. Yeah. This is second edition. It's been one. Over one million copies in print. Mm. Ramit Sethi. Well, all you gotta do is give us a dollar for each, each. copy. And we're then, good. Well then he not rich. No, because he don't they don't cost a dollar. Okay, they say he's greedy. <laughs> <laughs> he's a rising star, okay? Well, I don't wanna talk about him. I'm gonna talk about how we're gonna apply this to our life. Oh, he's married to Cassandra. You're the best part of every day. That's what he said about Cassandra. All right, so contents. We can find his show too, babe. I found it. Would you rather be sexy or rich? Oh, that's a real question? That's preposterous. Because if you're rich, to somebody, you are real <laughs> sexy. Because <laughs> that's a goofy question. <laughs> it don't matter who you are. <laughs> I'll tell you right now, <laughs> you can have an eye on your ear hole. <laughs> a billion dollars, and like, oh, look at him. <laughs> he looks so good. Man. Stop it. Okay. All, All right. right. So, would you, well, that's his question. So, I guess we all need to talk about this. The similarities between money and food, counterintuitive but true. We need less personal. Oh, okay, okay, good. You're in control. Stop debating. Focus on big wins. I was going to say little or small victories, but okay. The key messages, I will, I will teach you to be rich. Rich isn't just about money. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Rich isn't just about money. Huh. Says, what does it mean to you? Says the rich guy. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> we kind of talked about this the other day, but I had a few more things I wanted to add to it. What is rich to you? What is rich to me? Mm -hmm. He talks about it in his show. What? We watched episodes one, two, and three. Rich to me is one thing, and that's control. Of what? Control of your car? No, control of your life. Control so, of your finances? Yeah, control. Everything in your life? Yes, yeah, it's, it's con control. Like, you own your home, you own your car. Well, we own a home. Yeah. I mean, own, own. Own, own. Own, own, own. own. Like, no mortgage. Own, own, own. So that's what I mean. So we still gonna have to pay taxes, huh? We still gonna have to pay taxes, though. Yeah, taxes compared to a mortgage is a mere bag of peanuts, mere bag of shells. <laughs> <laughs> we can't handle that. <laughs> All right, so that's what it means to you. Yeah, it's definitely control because that is, you know. I well, mean, it's I, control, but I, I I do have a lot of things that I. I I don't have a lot, but there are a few things if I was to describe, because he talked about to the other people, like they just paying bills, they just doing stuff and they don't even know what they want. 
And so if I were to think about it right now and just be like, babe, for us to be, because I really feel we wealthy. Right. You really believe we wealthy? I'm just working with you right now. <laughs> I feel we're Ain't going to hurt nobody. I <laughs> don't hurt nobody. <laughs> so, so, no, but true story. To be rich, I would say we have the house paid off. Yes, that's the number and one. And it doesn't have to be the biggest house on the block. It just has to be our home. Yes. So if our home is paid off, but that's part of the equation. Part. Yeah, I want a decent car paid off. Not decent. Nice. Not decent. Decent. Okay, good, 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 good. Decent sounds like the door squeaks when you open it. That's decent. Well, decent. <laughs> I want a nice car. I was like, Lexus or a Benz was a decent. Oh, okay. You mean, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. All okay. right, so I want a nice car that's paid off with no car payment. Um, I would still want certain qualities in life, though. I would want to, I don't mind having to work, because if I'm describing the perfect, I'm not trying to, like, rip, talk about something that's not achievable. So let's right. just be realistic. Um, I want to be able to have someone pay to afford to have somebody clean the house. Mm -hmm. Once ahead. a week. I think you have an excuse on that, but I'm saying once a week. Yeah. I'm just, you know, and then I want to pay for that um, laundry service where we have somebody come and um, wash our clothes because I hate doing laundry all the time. Every time mm. I wash laundry, there's always something else. It's one of my, it's endless. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's um, a cycle. I'd like to be able to eat at nice restaurants right. twice a week yeah. and have money in the bank. Right. I'd like to be able to buy clothes that I want. Can't repeat it, yeah. Yeah? Yeah. I'd like, this is what I'm describing the rich life. Okay. I'd like to be able to get my nails done every two weeks. Mm. Because I really don't get them done now because of time. But if I didn't have to cook and clean and do all that stuff, I'd have more time to get my nails done. Sure. Okay. Um, I'd like to be able to get my hair done every two weeks. Gotcha. Boy, you got, you got some kind of list. I'd like to be able to get my eyebrows waxed every two weeks. What? Yeah. Okay. I want to make sure I'm not forgetting anything. Yeah, I, I don't think you are. I don't. I think you I want to be able to pay all our bills on time with it yeah. not stressing. Yeah, yeah. I want to have a good surplus in the bank account. Yeah, well, I, I mean, that. I think that all fi fi falls under, you know, the financial security. Like, you just want to be able to do what you want to do. I want to take trips when every you, three months. There you go. So, minimum. You want to be able to do what you want to do when you want comfortably. to do it comfortably within reason. Mm -hmm. No, you don't want anything outrageous, but you want to be able to enjoy yourself without feeling tight or have an issue at all. I don't want to work a hundred hours a week. Yeah. That's really all. Did I we get anything? No, 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 no. I think you got it all. So that he said, describe the rich life. I remember, what, what do these people say about being rich? What do that, those people say? Uh, you want to play one of them? Which or what one? we're going to do the book first? Which one? I don't know. We watched one, two, and three a little bit. You want to see what he said? New cash, old problem. Pet checking accounts. Multi-level what? Um, Let's see. Optimize your credit cards. Why Indian people love negotiating? And I thought we were being inclusive. <laughs> why Indian people love negotiating? Oh, he's Indian, so that's why he could talk about it. I, yeah. Okay. I, I, I guess it's like, Lord, not the I, I was like, what? Yeah. He said, stop being intimidated by credit. So I usually like Dave Ramsey's or kind of wanted to do Dave Ramsey's plan. But what I'm finding is in Dave Ramsey's plan, and nothing against it, but you really have to give up everything. Like he lets you... You budget, budget, budget. You save, save, save. And when you pay off your bills, actually, you do the, the um, snowball. What is it? The snowball debt solution thing. Right. But you're not allowed to buy anything. You're not allowed to eat out. You're not allowed to do anything. <laughs> and then the problem is that, like, it, it could take you six, seven years to pay off those debts. And you're miserable for six, seven years, and that's not promised you. I'm not saying anything wrong about the people that did it. Right. Because some people do it, and it works for them. Right. But in the meantime... I, I want to be happy while I'm trying to get there. I don't yeah. mind giving up stuff. I don't want to give up 
everything. Yeah, you don't want to be super miserable with uh, during the process. That's yeah, that sounds like a lot. So that's why I started looking at this one. I was like, okay, if we could be happy, because his philosophy is it says something about um conscious spending. He says you're supposed to spend extravagantly on the things you love. When I heard that, I was like, oh, oh okay. Uh, all right. You're talking your language. And cut costs on the things you don't love without making it an annoying budget. So when you do a budget, you always have to give up what you love. And so that's why I was thinking, baby, if we try this one, maybe it might work. No. His friend spends $21,000 going out guilt-free. Using psychology against save your say against yourself to save, fixed costs, savings, investment, and guilt-free spending. So those are the four buckets: fixed cost, savings, investments, and guilt-free spending money. So literally, you're making a bucket for the things you want to do. Right. Guilt-free. I usually we go open. Oh, well, because for this. you're putting that money, designating that for that, so. As you're going through that, everything else is supposed to be handled. So you can go through it guilt-free because everything else is mm. handled. He said save while sleeping. Save while sleeping. Making your accounts work together automatically. The power of defaults. Ways to spend only 90 minutes a month managing your money. Ways to use psychology to help you save. Create your automatic money flow. Okay, this is week five action steps. Okay, so... You want to try this? Yeah. Give it a shot. See how it goes. Investing isn't only for rich people. You always hear that. How to maintain and grow your systems is chapter eight. Well, what week is this? Because you said six weeks. <laughs> <laughs> if you're on week eight, it's, it's not six. Okay, he says, if you listen to all the internet influencers telling you the things you need to do every day, you would look like this. 4 a.m., wake up. 4 a.m. 01, meditate. 5 a.m., drink 37 gallons of water. 5.33, gratitude journal. 10.45, eat keto only. 11 a.m., track every penny of spending over the last 16 years. 11.01 a.m., die. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. If you had invested $100 a month, about that $12,000 would have turned into $20,000. Okay, so, so guys, we're going to try this. We Give are on shot. day zero, so tomorrow will be day one. Day one. So we'll talk about this, and, and we're going to show you other stuff too, but right. we'll let you know how this goes. And in six weeks and one day. What's his name? Ramit Sethi. He didn't say well, I got a lot of jokes for that name, but I'm not going to do that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to do that. I'm going to leave your name alone, champ. All right, Robert. <laughs> hey, so, it, does, it does not look like Robert. It looks like... Uh, we are yeah, not okay. on the show, Robert, but we, gonna try, we are going to try to do what you are saying for us to do. The first introduction is, would you rather be sexy or rich? And we all said rich. Uh, Well, I wanted to watch one of his episodes, though, and see. Let's see who's closer to the end. To the end? Well, we only have six weeks. So you, the first episode you want to watch is the end? I hear the one with the master's degree. <laughs> Someone here has their master's. <laughs> okay. I am a master's prepared individual. Oh, okay. <laughs> they got you ready. Oh, for show, show. We want to get to anything serious. I, you said it serious. <laughs> That's the crazy part. Oh, give me some love. Give me some love. <laughs> I am trying to do this journey with you. We got this journey in life. You know, I believe in, I already believe in the secret. The positive positive energy and since I started listening to that book I've been li I <laughs> what book? the secret I've been listening to the book and you always mess with me and I say I listen to the book oh yeah, yeah. The, re the, the read along 
Or well, they read to you. They read to me. Yeah, gotcha. But yeah. I am reading. Everybody thought they grew up and we came out with read along, but this is amazing. <laughs> We're adults. Ah! I'm done with you. I'm done. I am trying to focus. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Got the journey begins now. Okay. We got we'll see it. you. Ah. So we're starting, but so we start at the end? <laughs> oh, so, it just, do we stop? Six weeks. Okay. Got it. Okay. But where do we start? <laughs> I still have the same answer. <laughs> okay. Six weeks, so we're going to start at week six. <laughs> I've been setting ourselves up for a little failure here. But, okay. right. So, what day is today? Uh, the eighth. I had to write it a few times. Okay. So, Alexa, what is six weeks from today? You can't, she can't hear, babe. I don't think she wants to talk about it. Alexa, what is six weeks from today? One month and 12 days after today is July 21st, 2023. Okay, so are we going to be rich by July 21st or July 22nd? Sorry, I don't know that one. Uh, <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, <laughs> okay. Alexa Spark with me. Go on with the Masters. Let's go. Okay. All right. So, no, seriously, guys, this is the problem with my husband. I try to do something serious. I try to set a plan, and then he has me laughing and losing focus, and I'm going okay. on track. All right, focus. All right, I did seriously want to watch another episode with these people. The, the six couples, baby. Okay. What episode do you want? <laughs> okay, four, three? Week four? Three or four. Okay. Which episode do you want? Oh, whoops. Which episode do you want to watch? Uh, How many episodes are there? Eight. Oh, we can go to six. No, no. Okay, you want to go to one. Let's go to one. 
We already were doing that. Well, that's why I was saying. We had already seen a little bit of them. Okay. And that's what made me order the book. So which one do we want to do today so we can move forward? Because we're really most mostly going to read the book. the word rich, what comes to... We talked about that. What comes to mind when we hear the word rich? All right. Let's move through. Let's move through this one a little bit. What do you want to get to? What do you think? Right here. What do you both do for work? Sano is in retail. I quit my job in September to pursue my uh, business full time. I do little work. Custom work. Custom work. Custom work. Custom work. Custom work. <laughs> she quit her job to get rich. Okay. Cool. So. You both mentioned Correct. one big thing that you both have as a goal. What is that thing? Buying a house. Buying a house. And what's that about? I want to own a home where the kids have somewhere to come. Yeah, I want them to have like what I had at growing up, like a home base. Okay, so how do you think that I can help you? I, I don't know. I, I just hope any and every way you can help. Uh, I really do because I, I look at it like, how can you help somebody that's broke not be broke? <laughs> <laughs> so, I, don't, I don't know. I appreciate you being so candid. It sounds like you want to learn some skills broke. about what to do with your money. He's gonna I'm give getting excited for when we get a chance to meet person. All right? Oh. I'll see you soon. Okay. What would you ask him? Uh, what would you ask him? I'm talking to Monique and Donnell. Uh -huh. I but there's nothing like meaning in the I have a lot to ask. That's going to help me understand how they think about how they chose these how they people. spend their money uh -huh. and how they can use it to live a rich life. He said how they can use their money, how they can spend it, and how they can use it to have a rich life. You guys, and how much time have you Um, I got an email. Oh, he got an email. I found out when they called to ask him questions. <laughs> she found out when they called. Yeah, no. Yeah, I'll never tell her if I fell out or something. Oh, you don't tell but her. I don't think I really understood oh, they're doing a good job, this man. particular show. Uh, you guys want to know stuff. Like, y'all want to go deep. Y'all want to ask questions. And you're like, do I really want to tell? Well, you told him you were broke. Hello. Hello. Sorry, you caught me working. Is still woodworking? Yes. Yeah. Well, I remember from when we talked. How do people make money off of woodworking, like, full time? Uh, like a person? Oh, yeah, I mean. I to see more. People oh, want things. Hey, Everything got a few things I would want. Yeah. So if I had something to do with somebody who could show it on the soul, I'd make it happen. I'd make it. What would you want? Oh, I know the word, but I can't think of it. Oh. Is that move? Yes. Okay. What are the two things you want to get out of this? For me and Donnell to have better communication about money. You think we you have better communication about money? money? What does your bank account look like? We got better. <laughs> okay. Like, no, you don't do I think that. you do too much on your own. It yeah. is a sensitive issue. I think I do too yeah. much on my own. Yeah. We've been married for 17 oh, years. Pause. You think I do too much about money on my own without mm -hmm. communicating with you? Oh, yeah. Juice. You serious? What do you mean? I think you have to handle too many of the bills on your own. Yeah. You want a solution? Let's stop that now. This, what do you this, mean? Is, this book is already helping. No, I will help you pay it, but you don't trust me enough to help. I do That's, trust you. Yeah. All right. Then uh, just give me a few of the bills and I'll make sure they get paid. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> you see how that happened? They give me three of the bills. And I say, there you go. <laughs> there you go. All right. All right. All right. <laughs> case, case closed, babe. Well, you yeah. could pay them and then just tell me you paid them. As a matter of fact, we, okay, everything is electronic. So you can take the three bills that you want to be responsible for mm -hmm. and making sure that they get paid. Mm -hmm. And then all you got to do is send me a calendar thing saying task done. And then okay. I can check it off. Guaranteed. Let's do it. Guaranteed you're going to do it? See what I'm saying? Did you see? You guys already see. Yep. Guaranteed. See? I told you. I told you she didn't trust me to do it. Guaranteed. No, you said you're going to do it, and then you're going to send me, like, a how you, we'll figure out. You want to use a task, Microsoft Calendar. It has a little green box. Green box I can, with a check mark I can literally drawing. tell you I did it like that. <laughs> I don't need a box no. or a tag. <laughs> no. Done. Check box. Okay. All right. No problem. All right. All right, so, okay, what they say. I like that. So you don't think I communicate with you about money? No, I, I'm not saying it like that. You don't, but you feel more comfortable with everything under Control. you. Control. Yeah. 
you, you feel more comfortable that way, so I don't bother you about it, but yeah. I think it's, I think at certain times it gets to be too much stress for you, and you wish you weren't doing it all by yourself. And you, you don't think I handle stress well? It's calming and society. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, I got a phone call. All right, let's see what this next one is, what they're talking about. Oh, this is a bag. She don't have a house, but she would rather spend $1,300 on a bag. You build my credit score back. Uh, I've seen... Uh -huh. You can't build your credit score in six weeks. So we're not gonna, this is not gonna make us rich in six weeks. We're gonna teach us how to be rich in six weeks. We'll see if we get some good pointers. That's what I'm, I'm looking at. They got some good pointers, I'll check them out. On a day-to-day -day basis, nobody cares about their credit score, but it becomes very Dave Ramsey said you shouldn't care about your credit score. He says you don't need it. A car or a house. Well, oh, because he wants you to pay for everything. Cash. Cash. Goes to buy a car. He believes you should Even have credit. Four percent. Somebody who has terrible credit. I like the like Dave Ramsey paying their cash. A lot of interest rich rate. Rich people say they only use credit. So. Well, a lot of the Dave Ramsey people are rich. Excellent. Double thumbs His up. His method does work. Anything so that's the thing. I don't think there's only just one way to do things. I don't think there's one right way. I think based on your lifestyle and different things. Because what I love about this hopefully you can help me understand is he says you can have a budget for what you like years, a big budget thing, try not like things, five percent two percent and like I'm skipping I can't really have anything right but yeah he to said I could go shopping and that's the hardest thing in life. <laughs> I've never had any I, this is the first time I've ever heard somebody say that uh, well, we'll see and how many savings accounts I have well with each checking account so five. You have five savings accounts? Mm -hmm. I don't think it's bad to have multiple accounts, though, but I think you and I have different opinions on that. Why? Why? Who taught you this? Because you can have an account that you don't even look at. And what? And then if you don't look at it, what you got it for? Because money can just be added to it. No, you know it's there. No, sometimes people forget. So you want money you forget about? Pretty much. As soon as money gets tight, guess where you know where to go? It's, that's a that's a wishing well. So of how money. many they, they have five accounts? How many accounts do you think people should have? You got one checking account, one savings account. You don't even know two, why you have this credit card. Two each. Card. Probably that's about it. Four. Yeah. You're overwhelmed with so not five, but four. You don't even know how they fit yeah, together. Four is good. That's enough. You need to you don't need no more than that. He says fight for simplicity. I know you mentioned okay. that you make money, but it doesn't feel like it. He said he makes good money it's because it's spread all over the place. How much does he make? Counts. There's just too many. It's it's stressing me out, so we gotta fix that. I'm gonna show you how to treat your money. Okay. And if you stick with me, I think the way you think about it mm -hmm. is gonna be completely different. Okay. Well, do we have? To, are we gonna follow okay. his plan to the T? I will leave your homework for you. Organize your accounts so that you know exactly. He gave him a free book. Yeah. Good That's how we get started. In every couple, two people come into a relationship with different philosophies on money. Most people don't even know what their philosophy on money is. I want to start by simplifying all of their accounts and their credit cards. Okay. Then I want to get them on a plan to pay that debt off. Something where they go, oh, I can do this. And that makes it so much easier to keep moving forward. I've been chatting about your book with some of my friends oh, and cool. um, trying to figure out how to describe you. Mm -hmm. It would be easy to call me Who's a this? financial advisor, but I go much deeper than that. Nobody wants to sit around and talk about money because they think money is a negative thing. I listen to what your rich life is. I want to know what you love to spend money on. Celebrate. Let's start off with something positive. Oh! Some of us spend on whatever's in front of us. I also want to give to charity. I told you that before. don't understand why we treat money the way we do. Okay. That's where money psychology comes in. Money psychology is about the way you grew I up. I want to give to charity. I want to be able to donate. Invisible scripts mm -hmm. that you absorb. Sure. And once you can understand your money psychology, you can master it and you can change it. I help people earn money, manage their money, and master their money psychology. Master money psychology. I love psychology. People hit me up on social media all the time. Oh, to we gotta follow him. Money questions. And I recently got a message from a young woman named Nicole who is worried about her mother, Natalie's spending. Mm, is she on a yacht? Okay, no, Natalie. that's a ah, boat. First that's thing, right off the bat, you see this logo? Chase private client. That means that she's probably wealthy or comes oh. from a wealthy family. 
she has a $25,000 deposit wow. from a trust, okay? Maybe she has a trust that her family was a part of, we'll see, okay? This is pretty interesting. So she started the month with $4,000 in savings. And by the end of the month, she was left with $5.04. Wow. Her spending seems crazy. Natalie has 100 bucks in her checking account and she just casually deposited $374,000. What? That's a good month. She withdrew $37,000, as we all do on a given month, <laughs> and then withdrew $271,000. For what? She lives paycheck to paycheck. How? Let's look at some of the spending. Well, there's a lot of expenses here, okay. You know, like this hotel in Europe, $700. And she, that's Let's take a look at her mortgage. <clears throat> She's got $950,000. She's almost $400,000 a month. That's She's crazy. paying no. about $5,000 a month. She's paying $5,000 okay. for a mortgage. Right now, the interesting thing is that she gets these big cash infusions. So I'm How curious she if she's the executor of her family's estate or something like that. I want to know where the money's coming from. We've all seen it in the movies. It's the land of excess. You have Rolls Royces and oh, Bentleys yeah. everywhere. You told me where that was the other day. Where, where is that? clothing in the world. That's okay. and yeah. the people mm -hmm. watching That's is said. absolutely amazing. Oh, look at this. What's you guys filming, man? You say it too. I doubt it. reaction to it and some of the principles that we are applying in our life as well because i am excited about this book i will teach you to be rich it was only 10 bucks it wasn't bad got it on amazon ordered it came within two days and um it was only 10 bucks it wasn't bad got it on amazon ordered it came within two days and um oh buy as many lattes as you want i have never heard that he's wild spend extravagantly on the things you love Live your rich life instead of tracking every last expense. I... We'll see. Seth, you talk in my language. This isn't typical advice from a money expert. With Ramit Seth Fee's six-week program, you decide on your rich life. Whether it's traveling to Bora Bora. How do you know about me in Bora Bora? Stop it. He's out of here. All right, we'll give it a shot. Paying for your parents' retirement or just picking up the <clears> check <throat> when you're out with friends. All right. He teaches you how to choose long-term investments on the right bank accounts. Crush debt. All right, All right. we're going to do it. We'll see what happens. We are in week one, right? <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right, you're by yourself now. <laughs> we're not at week six. Yeah, yeah, not, not, not week six, babe. All right, good job. Oh, boy. <laughs> you know, they're not gonna make it. They can't even count. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. Good job. I was, I was like six weeks. Okay. Six weeks of financial control. I think this is doable. So week one, I have to read. All right, I'm not going to go, but week one. How many chapters are there, first of all? Are there six chapters? No, there's nine chapters. So how are we going to do it in six weeks? Oh. 